Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and have a very good day. Today, I'm going to demonstrate on Structural Engineering Laboratory CS511, Instability of Strat Level 1. As an introduction, if compressive load is applied on a column, the member may fail either by crushing or by buckling depending on its material, cross-section and length. If a member is considerably long in compression to its lateral dimension, it will fail by buckling. If a member shows sign of buckling, the member leads to failure with small increase in load. The load at which the member just buckle is called as crushing load. The buckling load as given by Euler can be found by using following expression where Le is equal to alpha L. The coefficient alpha is depend on the following boundary condition. Pin pin is equal to 1, pin fix 0 0.7 and fix fit 0 0.5. Figure shows the experimental setup for instability of strut consists of balance ruler at the top, dial gauge, adjuster gear to balance the ruler, specimen position, and also digital indicator. It also shows the bottom support and the top support of the apparatus. The objective of this experiment is to determine the buckling load for a strut. As a learning outcome, at the end of the lesson, students should be able to determine the critical buckling loads of strut for different types of boundary condition and describe the importance of critical buckling load in column design. The problem statement. Column is a slender member. It tends to fail due to buckling behavior instead of material itself. Therefore, it is important to determine the buckling load of column so that can serve its primary function. The figure shows the different types of support for the strut. Pin pin, free fix, fix fix, and pin fix, where normally a strut is also known as vertical member, we can apply this behavior same as column. Now, I would like to introduce some equipment that we need for instability, buckling of strut, experimental work. The first one, we need a ruler in order to measure the length of the specimen. In this experimental work, we need three different types of material, which is the first one is steel. This is a brass specimen. And then this is an aluminum specimen. Other than that, we need Allen key to fix up the apparatus. The knife edge in order to change the support from fix to pin and also the vertical digital caliper in order to measure the thickness of the specimen. Today, we're going to demonstrate on instability buckling of strike experimental work. In order to start an experimental work, the first one, we have to switch on the apparatus. The second one, we have to make sure that the apparatus is in balance condition, where we have to make sure that the Condition here is balance. In order to set up this apparatus or equipment in balance, we have to turn this gear. 
and make sure the bubble is at the center. Next, I would like to explain about the support system of this apparatus. So, we can adjust this support into three conditions. The first one is fixed, fixed condition. If there is no knife edge here, therefore both support is considered as fixed, fixed support. If each of the section or each of the support have a knife edge, that means the support is in pin condition. So, for this experimental work, we have to do three different types of support. The first one is fixed fix, the second one is fixed pin, and then the third one is pin pin support. I'm going to demonstrate to do an experimental work for instability buckling of stride using this brass sample with condition of the support is fixed pin support. The first step is we have to place this brass sample and make sure it placed at the center of the equipment and adjust and make sure that it's located at the support at the pin support or at the knife edge here so in order for you to adjust this one you may adjust the gear here Okay, in the same time, you have to make sure that it is balanced. After adjusting the specimen to the apparatus, please make sure that you lock the apparatus. And make sure that it is in balanced condition. Okay. After set up the specimen okay, on the apparatus, next we have to set up the dial gauge. So we have to make sure that the position of the dial gauge is at the center of the specimen. Therefore, we have to measure the length of the specimen and please make sure that the dial gauge is at the center of the specimen. Then, you have to make sure that the dial gauge is touched to the specimen so that it can read the value then we have to make sure that it's set to zero next we have to set the digital indicator to zero therefore press tab Next, we have to apply load to the strut. In order to apply load to the strut, okay, so we have to turn this gear for example here, okay, I'm going to apply 30 Newton Newton, okay, in the in the in the. For example, I would like to apply thirty newton, okay, based on this digital indicator, and then we read the reading from the dial gauge on the value for the buckling of the strut. So, for example, the value here is at three interval of the dial gauge 
we have to time with the scale is one interval is equal to 0 0.01 millimeter therefore the reading is 0 0.03 millimeter buckling okay. for your information for brass specimen the maximum load that we can apply is 250 newton therefore in this example, I do already apply 30 newton, and you may add additional load up to 10 times and read the result of the buckling to the maximum of 250 newton. I would like to recommend the incremental value of the load should be equal. For example, I do already start with 30 newton. Then if you would like to increase the load 20 newton, so for the next value should be 50 newton, 70 newton, 90 newton, until 10 times of reading. Record and tabulate the data before you analyze the result. This is the data collection and recorded based on the experiment done. This is the data tabulation that was recorded based on the experiment. The table shows the data for the length of the member, width of the member, thickness of the member. You have to calculate the moment of the inertia and the modulus of elasticity is based on the specimen type. The table shows the maximum load that you can apply for the specimen. Each type of material have different maximum load based on the types of support. For the aluminium, fixed fix support is 100 newton, fixed pin support 200 newton, and pin pin support 100 to 200 newton. For the brass specimen, fixed fix support 250 newton, fixed pin support 120 newton, and pin pin support is 120 to 250 newton. While for the steel specimen, the maximum load for the fixed fix support is 250 newton. Fig pin support 120 newton and pin pin support is 120 to 250 newton. Here are the data that has been tabulated for the specimen. In this case, it used brass specimen. So if you can see the data that has been tabulated. There is three different cases based on the support condition. The first one is a fixed fix support. Second one is the fixed pin support. And then the third one is pin pin support. For the fixed pin support, the maximum load applied is 120 newton because the maximum load that we can apply to the specimen for that type of support is 150 newton you have to make sure when you would like to do an experiment you have to follow that condition therefore each group is required to prepare the experimental report based on the data given on the analysis you have to interpret the data include all the analysis and calculation of the needed answer for the conclusion you have to discuss your laboratory work and must be reflecting with respect to the experimental objective of the study. For the application of this strike system, we know that the strike system is a vertical structure. Therefore, in real construction, it acting as a column. We can apply this strut system for three different types of material which are steel, timber and also reinforced concrete. The normal types of failure for this column 
structure is buckling failure as shown in the figure. The first figure shows the steel column buckling failure. The second figure shows the timber column buckling failure. And the last one is the reinforced concrete column buckling failure. Thank you.